Peter? I think no one's arguing about the, the horrible nature of rape or the need to punish convicted rapists, seriously. What seems to me to be behind this, though, is, is a, a, a willingness to set aside the greatest protection that our liberty has in this country, which is the presumption of innocence. Nobody <coughs> can put you in prison in this country until they've proved to the satisfaction of a jury that you've done what you're accused of. It's very difficult to do that in the case of rape because it is often simply the case of one person's word against another. And some of you will have sat on juries. All of you probably will. When you do, you will find that it's extremely difficult to make up your mind about this. And when you are considering whether to send somebody to prison, which we've all agreed is a very unpleasant place, for perhaps for many years and to, ruin, and to ruin his life forever, then you have to think very hard about whether and what you believe. How you can get rid... How, uh, uh, how, what, what, I, would, I, would, I would pay almost any price to preserve jury trial and the presumption of innocence because they are the absolute solid bedrock of the liberty which we have in this country, more valuable than democracy, more valuable than practically <coughs> anything else in keeping the state from being too powerful. Yeah. Be very careful about listening to siren calls, to dropping the rules of evidence and making it easier to convict. It may be you one day who is, more, or who is more easily convicted as a result, yes. and then you'll know what it means. OK, yeah, a lady here. Are you blaming the victim there? You're in you are the person that is installing rape culture into this country. The reason why there's such a small people, amount of people that are convicted is because people don't report it because of rape culture. There needs to be this whole change in the attitude of people. Poor people that are convicted of rape, oh, how are their lives, uh, lives ruined? Forget about that. The victim has to live with that for the rest of their life. But yet yeah, you're saying that the um, person that's done it, oh, they're going to go to prison for five years. That's such a hard thing for them to do. There's a footballer who's now about to go back into the public eye who's been convicted of raping a 19-year-old girl. Don't, don't name him, please. I won't name him, but he's about to go back and he has had so many people go, oh, he's ruined his life because he's managed to rape this girl. Well, what about her? I think we'll, we'll move away from specifics, actually. We'll take your point. Uh, yes, lady with the blue hair. It still doesn't make it right to send a, send a person to prison unless you've proven <laughs> guilty, does it? No, but we do have to address rape culture in this country. Well, it's a different It's question. prevalent. The UN have found this is one of the most sexist countries because of just the casual sexism. It's disgraceful. <laughs> uh, yeah, lady here.